What is Bitcoin? In a simple answer. I, I spend a lot of time trying to tell people what it's not. I, I see, I, you know, well, uh, <laughs> Bitcoin is this digital token at the simplest level. And blockchain is the database on which all the information about Bitcoin is stored. Bitcoin is a system for managing monetary payments between a peer-to-peer -peer network of people. And they do this by putting together a, a ledger that's called a blockchain. It's essentially like a bank ledger, except instead of just the bank keeping it, Everybody involved keeps it so that everybody can look and make sure that everybody else is being honest. The blockchain is essentially an Excel file in the cloud with one column. And every 10 minutes, there's a new block updated. Each block is tied to the previous block, so it's immutable. If you change elements of one of the earlier blocks, you just change all the values all the way through. This is a you know, cryptographic tool to, to tie all these transactions together. It's actually much safer than where your money is probably stored today. It's quicker for you to FedEx a box of unused checks to somebody in London from New York than it is to send money. Now that is ridiculous. And the reason why it's ridiculous is because money we know is nothing but information. And we also know that information is nothing more than bits and bytes and that we can send bits and bytes to each other instantaneously. Everyone thinks from a consumer perspective that our financial system works very well. You use your credit cards and you get your products. The merchant's not particularly happy because they lost anywhere from two to 4% of that transaction to credit card fees. We've relied heavily on these third parties, right? The banks are the obvious ones, but lawyers and others who sit in the middle of our global financial system and really take in enormous fees as gatekeepers. We're sitting on this golden opportunity to move a bunch of people who are trapped in informal cash-based economies to a globally connected digital economy. Over four billion people have no access to a bank account. And all they need is a mobile phone and they can start transacting. You can put a product that moves actual currency around in other people's hands overnight. And that was simply never possible with the US banking system. I just haven't seen another system out there that's working at any scale right now other than Bitcoin that lets people do that. The beauty of the blockchain ledger is that it is one of the only true immutable records of history we've ever had. You have a lot of power that comes from the transparency and the sort of permanency of that record. So there's a notion that we could create much more reliable registries. And with that, we could give greater confidence to lenders and to people participating in transactions that their assets are indeed theirs and hopefully therefore unlock a lot of the uh, financial services the rest of us take for granted. The hotel industry. Putting hotel rooms on a blockchain so that aggregators like Kayak, Expedia, etc could uh, actually book you the exact room you want and then claim it publicly so that other aggregators know that, mm, sorry, room 1008 is taken. Health records of the world. So every time you have to shift your records from one hospital to another, it's a very inefficient system. The other one is welfare. There's this idea that we might be able to cut out a lot of the corruption and misuse of funds that happens in the distribution of money and therefore hopefully end up with more money in the pockets of those who need it. I think the biggest current risk for the entire blockchain ecosystem right now is that it's being overhyped. There are some blockchain fabulous who are out there really, really touting that the blockchain can solve every problem you can imagine. And that's not realistic. So far, it's Bitcoin, the underlying idea works, but that's like, you know, the internet work, but you still have to m make people want to come and use it and open up accounts. If you are interested in building services on the blockchain or getting involved in one way or another. If financial inclusion is something you're really, really passionate about, this is something that maybe uh, you'd want to adopt in your tool chest as you're creating a solution for consumers.